hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i am doing um a different eye look for you which i haven't done in a long time and this is one with rimmel magni magnifies um it's one of the new palettes that i recently purchased and i really like them so i'll be doing like a halo eye this time um i haven't done one in a very long time i want to do something different sorry if i sound <clears throat> um horribly um husky <laughs> um it's only because I've, i have been sick for a few days anyway um so starting off i'm going to be using this neutral um i want to call it like a beigey silvery color um and i'm just going to use that all over the lid um just to give it a little bit of base and i'm also just going to add that to my crease just to have again a bit of base for my um transition shade and um from there then we can go on to the next color so next i am going to be using um a blue color from this palette um the one i'm using here is this one in the middle which is like a true blue color it's not light it's not sky blue and it's not turquoise it's um it's it's quite beautiful and slightly on the darker side more like a navyish blue um so i'm just going to be using that with a real techniques um flat shadow brush this will go um along the third outer third of my eyes and on um across my crease as well just to um, start creating that base and that halo effect onto the eyes so now that we've got that base done i'm going to be using this nyx concealer um, it's called gotcha covered um, it's really really thick it's really pigmented and it's waterproof um, so i've just added this a bit on the back of my hand i'm just going to use um, you can use any brush for this to be honest i'm just using the sponge applicator that came with the palette and placing that in the middle of my eye so this will obviously be like the center um, look of my eye um, for the halo effect to take place um, as you can see you can also use this um, use like a powder instead if you don't want to use concealer but this concealer is actually very very um, it's quite thick and it's very pigmented um, and it's waterproof so it actually does the trick really really well so just place that in the middle of the eye now for the halo effect to take place I'm taking this bright blue beautiful color this is I think one of the best colors I like in the palette so eye-catching and again with the same um, shadow brush from Real Clip Techniques I'm placing that on top of the eye where I place the concealer um, the reason of, of putting this concealer on top uh, on the bottom is because it just helps really really helps the color to pop um, and then obviously the halo effect takes place properly so I'm just adding this um, you can make this as pigmented as you want I'm just placing this in the middle of the eye and making sure it looks nice with the rest of the blue then I'm taking this dark blue color, which is one of the darkest blue they have in the palette. It's more close to like a grayish um, blue black color. And I'm just going to add this to, again, to the outer third of my eye, just to give that extra definition um, and extra depth to the eye. You can also use black, but I just think black was slightly harsh. So I just want to um, stay in the, in the blue um, color parameter so just adding that to the end and now just using a fluffy brush to buff it in and make it softer and now I'm just going to use the color that I use on my top um, on my lid in the middle um, under my eyes I'm just going to buff that in um, this is such a beautiful color it's not a green it's not a blue it's a bit of a, a bit of um, a mix of both blues and greens so it looks really nice against uh, brown eyes so yeah I'm just buffing that in in my lower lash line and um, yeah that is done 
now I am literally just taking um, the darkest color that we used initially and um, adding that to the um, outer parameters of my eye just to make the halo effect even more prominent and even more beautiful um, this obviously don't everyone doesn't have to do because I've got a heavy fold um, in my eyelid so it just makes my halo look more prominent otherwise you can't really see it um, now I'm just cleaning under my eyes um, with that buffing brush and some face powder you can use um, anything to be honest just so that we don't have any fallout um, now I'm curling my eyelashes with my Tweezerman eyelash curlers uh, which is one of my favourites these days and then putting on mascara for mascara I'm using the L'Oreal Unlimited uh, mascara my one looks very grubby and disgusting because I use it so much but this one um, has such a comfortable wand it's really it's tapered so it really you can really take it into the roots you can take it into um, the small um, eyelashes in um, the front of your eye so it's really comfortable to wear and it's really really good I really enjoy it <laughs> I am back now with my full face so um, for lipstick I am using the Revlon pink in the afternoon this is one of my absolute favorites if, been, if you've been um, watching my videos for a while you'll know um, the lip liner here that I have on is from uh, BH Cosmetics it's their lip liner in the color nude I absolutely love the lip liners they're really soft and really long wearing and yeah this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!